Raptor. There's a smoke from Chopper to Heaven. There's flashes to get them through Monster, but note these double nades. One for Alexi, one for Mantu. Maybe they'll cancel the plant. So he smoked himself off there and plans to try and dunk the plant. It won't be the kill, unfortunately. Magic's healthy enough. Alexi's got one as well as from Heaven, so check this out. It works. And now, seconds. three seconds, one of them has to plant and Mir could get knocked off it. They're hunting him. Mir's punching in the digits. They don't have time. They don't. And just like that, the stack nades win around. Good call, Chad. Alexi from heaven dunks him as well. Perfect partnership. And that's just running the clock down a little too low. OG, they played restrained because of the faith in the nades. Now, uh, I don't know what Chopper was thinking. Maybe he just didn't want to give them $300 because he was too far out of the action. But because he had the utility, Chopper goes into round number two of the game with no loss bonus. He goes in with a Glock, no Kevlar, and nothing. And you can hear, hear the smile on Alexi B's face because, well, <laughs> I said he loves a bit of preparation, getting ready for the double nades onto the B site, making sure they're held onto them, not getting too movie in that mid-round. And, well, Very they nice. secure it with just grenades. So at this point, OG looking good. They're going to invest into the second round with two Famuses, two MP9s, and a Scout. And a Force Buy on the other side from Spirit with Deagles and just chopper onto that Glock. Like, that's the thing, you get no loss bonus and you have a Glock and you have no Kevlar. Like, ugh, ugh, Something ugh. that's fun to check out as well, something I've been enjoying watching the as the map develops and Counter-Strike continues to evolve is the door. Yeah, but the connector door, you'll see Magic's about to swing open that CTs have been finding a lot of power and nading that off. Speaking of nades, this has just caught a little flack from that. Oh. Hayden Magic draws blood on the Deagle, so does me. There's the partnership. The Dastardly Duo opens up with a double. Lexi could get caught in transition here. There is a, a small window. He's holding a monster for now, though, tucked in with the SMG. And they don't need to do too much now, Spirit. Group up and finish. But a double deagle on that short aggression is huge. They have smokes and a flash and a HE to work with here. So if you wanted to finish on the B side of smoke Ooh, towards I think you saw a, a glimpse of Alexi. Potentially. He... Oh, my God. Go again, Alexi. I dare you. Mir thinks he's been spotted with that, but he's definitely been heard. So another smoke's going to drop. 30 seconds left. They have to get a wriggle on here. You'll never guess which side they're going to hit. Walking up the monster tunnel. Alexi he does have a powerful position, but that smoke has a timer on it. He needs a double kill here. Chopper's not going to be exposed. Nice catch. Bomb loose. 15 seconds. Surely not the clock again for Spirit. It is. It's Alexi B, not the clock. The Finn finds three. Bomb needs to go down, and Magic oh has bailed them out again. They will get the bomb down. And MBK pushes through the smoke. Mir and Magics have done it all. They started that round and they finish it as well. There isn't a single frag on anyone else. It's just the two of them. Lovely stuff. Let's watch that opening Deagle again as well. Maybe just Alexi then. He did so much work. Gets three in the end. Yeah, and he was completely isolated after those two opening kills. They put a lot of faith in Alexi to be able to defend the site. There's Mir's opening after Magics found first blood to a similar position on the map. And all in all, Team Spirit bounced back immediately. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. And I don't mind this from OG. They want to wrestle for economic control right here. Alexi's going to be the one holding onto extra cash instead of Mantu. So that might slow down the AWP purchase for the OG. Yeah, no, my tone was not so much about the force, more the fact that Alexi has oh. so much cash. MBK just takes Magics down. AKV Deagle, first bullet accuracy. Very necessary. Sketchy spray from SDY, but he takes a risk and it pays off. Aggressive on the monster tunnel, backing away now, receding, don't need to commit. Good nades. Oh, yeah, very nice. That's chunked Alexi down on the B site. Valdez jiggling on the Deag and his connects as well. Some very powerful individuals in the server tonight. So round three, and B is the preference once again. Surprise, surprise. But this mid-round is very strange as Spirit haven't actually gotten any territory with all the frags that have fallen through. They've actually sustained a lot of damage onto SDY. Valda, very lucky to be alive after that one. And they need to find another kill onto the B site, Spirit, or there's no way in. And there it is. This balance is the one to find two of them. It costs him a great deal of health. SDY is low as well. There's a universe where Mantu's D can find the necessary frags, but he wants to isolate. Oh, that was Mir's head, a very good opportunity onto the healthiest member. One bullet headshot. Oh, and he's lined it up through the smoke, knocks disbalance off the plant. Oh, SDY gets it down. Pushing him is Mir. SDY, tucked in on the default box. Mantu letting. There's just enough time passed that there's a potential for his opponents to make the mistake for him. Mir hasn't continued his hunt, and it looks like Mantu has managed to outline 
the location of SDY. Near still starting the hunt, but don't want to overcommit. And that looks like the end of him. Oh, reveals his location. Just trying to do as much as he can. Keep yeah. him on the site. Look, damage name of the game here, and he's not able to get much more. Mir might even finish him off. That takes away the armor, that takes away the deagle, and that's going to put OG in a place where they have to take a save. Now, with that extra cash from Alexi, I assume this means that he's going to be dropping the AWP over to Mantu when we make it to round number five. But round number four should be a wash. And we'll see the action here onto the B side as lots of nade damage being done. They were trying to harass that exact position where Alexi was standing and I just balance bails them out here, making sure he can get that transfer down nicely. If he was traded, it became a 1-1. One -one. That one could have spiraled out of control. But decent damage nonetheless. Only two players remaining. And they will have to concede at this point. So... OG are going for a three-man lean over towards A long to lingering around towards B. Hello, and everybody. Zydus Balance has seen more than he's probably bargained for here. Hangs around, gets taken out, dinks oh. over towards B as well. Mir's low. Eventually, SDY saves him. That would have got sketchy. Fortunately, it's picked up by SDY. Had it lost Mir. That was the only AK in play. Magix has gone for the armor duelies, so respect to, to him. That's the meta these days, apparently. Yeah, I'm a Julie's full util, bro. I've actually got my notebook out here, Alex, and what I'm doing is I am uh, jotting down, I've done it one column for A and one column for B. Every time Team Spirit finish on the B bomb site, I'll put an X in the column for B. Now, I'm uh, going to really just make sure we keep tabs on exactly how many rounds <laughs> finish towards that site. Are we three for th four? Th four for four right now. Um, so we, we know that they have an affinity for that bomb site, and if it works, it works. I, I don't think we can no, I'm not be critical of it. Here. No, because like, I think this is happening on certain maps in recent times quite a lot, like Dust2. There was a period of time where Na'Vi were almost exclusively going long. Um, so if you can make it work and you just feel more confident, you can take a lot of, I guess, the mystery out of the game. But the thing is, in theory, it shouldn't work. So that theory depends on the C2's mindset, right? That's true. Okay, well, the guns are out. Light utility here for OG. They have a handful of smokes still to work with. And Valda's taking space towards Sewer, trying to use the cusp of this smoke to grab a frag. Mir's getting cheeky. Yeah, I feel like this favors Mir. Or not. Nalda gets the frag. And they're coming up Monster Tunnel again. Passive hold from the CTs, but they are out. And Issa catches the magics as he turns from the flash. Looks perfect for OG here. And Chopper's not ready for another. Valda using the off angle. Disbalancer can lock him in, but a missed shot costs him his life. This one's gone disastrously. It will just be Valda hunting down his third. Very, very clean. Make it fourth, excuse me. Quad kill from the Dane. We're going to put that one as a B finish, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Definitely well, majority of B frags. There's five. All right. Out five, five out of five ain't bad. Now, that's the AWP being dropped there. I, I, I'm not sure if we're going to see a reinvestment from Team Spirit into that. Didn't quite catch the financials. But an important round for OG to bounce back with, and especially one that they were gifted a lot of jewels with low utility. If that was a slower round, if that was a later piece, and they had to deal with a late round execute, they wouldn't have had mollies and smokes to fight with. The buy will come back through from Spirit. Galil for Magics. I just bounce onto a Deagle, but Deagles haven't been too much of a problem so far for the Spirit gang. it has been naded off. Didn't catch who did it, though. And now, vulnerable to the crossfire of MBK and Issa, even Valda backing him up. God, they really want to contest for water. They do not want Mir to have this part of the map. And it will be a ball, it will be a brawl. Nade, Valda spotted, this is already invested, and this looking to be working out. Look at that crossfire, it's so brutal. You can't do anything. OG have locked the water battle down and it will be theirs. A double kill in favor of the loss of Issa. Just balance only operating with a deagle. Mir has to be the hero of this round. And well, Valda says no. Partnered up nicely with Alexi B. Locking them down, but a double transfer. He's on for an ace. An ace clutch. It would have to be. SDY smokes off the tunnel. Oh, doesn't he missed quite it. get it. They won't necessarily be able to operate under the assumption that he could be moving. Timing on this fake is everything. He's caught MBK's hunt, and now he can dip away. 28 seconds, but heaven, will he peek back into it, or will he pivot? Is he going monster? That's an interesting avenue. It does mean that the Orpa will have less power. He's looking for an ace clutch here. SDY is having an absolute mad one. 15 as he peeks oh. in, and Mantu. Patience is rewarded. 
He would have had the line of sight had he needed it, but the door respawns and we go again. B finish, Chan? Yeah, another B finish right there. And I think it's a little bit unfortunate for SDY, assuming that he could play him on the rotation with that sound cue, but man to hedged his bets, maintained strong over towards heaven and finds the final frag. That's tying us up to three rounds apiece. Going into round number 17, Spirit have had their bank balance rocked and it's just going to be four deagles and a Glock for Magics. So I would say that there's not too much to be worried about here for OG, but we have seen them fall foul to a couple of nice shots of Magics and Mir. And again, that sewer control. So let's keep our eyes just on how much they want to harass this position. If that is a key part of Alexi B's game plan going into today, going up against somebody like Mir, who we have posted as a win condition for Spirit, I think that's going to give them a rougher time on their T half, but a push coming on through, spotted on up, and there's the man in question. Mir falls. Esther and Alexi chiming together to finish off that frag, and well, now over towards A. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is long. You probably won't see this part of the map too often throughout this game, but uh, there's a lovely little picnic basket. There's a, there's a nice large stone. It was stone. a bike. Someone stole it. Yeah, look, that's what happens if you leave your bike unchained here in Germany. Yeah, it's true. It's gone. I did try to get, when I moved, when, when I made the move to Malta, I, no, 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 no. I, I left mine unchained to let it get stolen. Nobody took it. No? No, because when Anna left, she left me, well, I paid for it, but I had everything that was remaining, Including which a bike. Was, there was a push bike, there was a whole bunch of other push. Ghiblis and whips. That's what we call them. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> you hate it? <laughs> push bike sounds like it's for children. <laughs> well, this is for children. Adults use bikes. Well, only in your part of the world. In Australia, the roads are too big. Yeah, because Australia is massive. You can't cycle anywhere. You'd be, you'd die. You gotta get on the kangaroos. Yeah, I think so. Primarily. Skippy. Now I do hope this. Oh no, could go wrong. Magic to hit one. He'd need one more deagle shot to make a round out of this. It is only an unarmored deagle. And that Molotov. Oh, here's SDY. MBK needs to pick up the pieces, but Magic no, keeps hitting deagle headshots. And with nine seconds, there is a small world where they do. You know this. where he is. They need to plant, and they are getting it down safe in time. Should be a Valda clutch, but now with an orb recovered, Magic just has to hit one bullet. Does he peek? Valda. He's been put in a very frustrating set of circumstances now. Magic's is patrolling. Sees him. And Magic pulls the trigger. What a round from Magic. It started off as just the one. A Deagle shot onto the orb. It shouldn't be more than that, but they just fall. And look what that's done to the OG economy. Alexi caught off by the push. They deny the molly, they take the headshots and win against the full rifles. Even on the A bomb side, so they on can the win A rounds on both side. sides. This is fantastic. <laughs> We're seeing some depth here from Team Spirit, but that's a very frustrating round. In the context of this game, OG, they can't be dropping too many rounds like that, and that's two within OSDY. the first seven. If you want to be mad, not only are you losing that round, now you're about to get driven in by a bloody P90 into the site. Don't some check, he doesn't care. He's just ignored barrels completely. Valda manages to get a frag because of that negligence but it doesn't last much longer. SDY finds his second P90 frag. And that was a force as well. So OG have to hold on to the AWP in Mantu's hands. They cannot lose this weapon. I'd love to see Issa's reaction to that at P90 driving around the corner. <laughs> well, uh, at this rate, MBK needs to just be a bit of a bodyguard here. If his presence can just make sure the rotation doesn't come through spawn, that's one avenue where they can't be chasing Mantu, but he's tucked himself in over towards playground. And we can see here just posturing around on the site, making sure that there's no one trying to be cheeky coming in with the last second defuse from OG. MBK is just seeing if he can pick up anything. He's a bit of a fisherman right now. Patience is a virtue when it comes to those... Uh, recreational activities. Saving a weapon could be considered the same, especially in Playground. Now, having an AWP into round number nine does bode well for OG. They won't be able to purchase as a unit, but if Mantu can find a kill and they're able to find an AK-47 on the floor or a P90, it's better than just operating with those pistols. So I cannot believe he got a kill with that, let alone two. Rush, what do you make of it? Because that's not the first time we've been seeing the pro-level player using the P90. Do you think it's just the amount of ammo they're rocking when they hit that site? It is nice. I think if it was cheaper, we would see a lot more people buying it, that's for sure. Yeah, but it's just strange, though, because a lot of people would see opt-in for a Mac 10 And you're right, that the P90 does cost a lot more, so it must be the cash. And he's entering again, so the P90 back onto Here the site. Here we go. And this time he won't get away with it. That's the AWP. It's on B. They've found that out very quickly, have spirit. Look at him. Mir really wants blood. Mantu needs to find a safe haven. He's looking for the short fight. He might not get it. 
They're overwhelming. They will push behind. He does deal with one. Needs a third. Mantu gets triple kill with the saved oh. orb. And NBK, he does manage to make somewhat of a meal of it, but he's got the 1v1. He's brought it down. It's just magics. And he decides to return all the way through sight. Now, this is a gamble from NBK. Bear in mind there's no kit. Oh, he's sort of second guessing himself now. Hope the sound cue would have thrown magics off, but now. Uncertainty doesn't seem to have manifested. Oh, I think he might have caught a glimpse. He's got an idea. Needs a clean headshot. Not easy. Oh, but he's found it. NBK clutches up and OG closed the gap for for the CT squad. And they needed that. They needed to steal one Thank back. Thank you, Mantu, though. I mean, we're going to see it in the highlights, right? Three people in the site. He had four to deal with. He doesn't get them all, but one. Then close quarters, holding the push. Two and a third. Quick reactions onto an AK. Lots of pressure on Mantu there, and that's why I talk about him as one of the, uh, well, best players for OG. He is, statistically speaking. And when you look at the fact that this guy came as being a secondary AWPA on a German team, and now he's playing in OG, it's sixth in the world as per HLTV.org's world rankings right now, and their best player, and pulling off impact like that in a do or die elimination day of IEM Beijing. That's fantastic stuff. So Big. Team Spirit, they lost a bit of a gimme, but they won one of their own. So you can't be too upset with that as Valde wants to go for a face and a fight. He's going to find oh. exactly that. SDY, you are dead. At control, he was working on just the lower half of visible SDY, but in the meantime, Dispanse has actually caught a smoke shot onto Valdemar. Four on four. Smoke deployed by Issa. He hears the potential. He knows there's a boost around the corner, and that's a risk. Mir actually manages to convert it. He's jiggling on his teammate's head, Chad. That's movement at the highest degree. That's a big punish right there, and I think Chopper is taking some liberties over towards A. Alexi's pushed on up and contained them, but Chopper's found a gap, and you wouldn't be expecting this because it's just time and time again. Team Spirit have opted for that B bomb sure. site. Out of the nine rounds played so far, they've finished on B eight. So you'd be expecting that once again, especially with these opening trades. But now that Chopper's pushed up, he sees nobody's home. Maybe he'll get a move on. They still have 50 seconds. The other three members of Spirit do not have this to move. It's going to work, Chad. I can feel it. They just have to wait. Like, disbalance firing a shot or being spotted with the bomb is only going to reaffirm their desires for B. But look at all the nades as well that they have to work with at this juncture. They're faking B and going back to A. And they found the gap because of Alexi's push. You're right. Alexi has given them that space to maneuver, but he might be working it out. I think he has. 25 seconds. They're saying there's nothing following through on B. Chopper must have A. Alexi will be late to the party. And I'm already feeling the potential for a save call here. Unless Alexi catches disbalance early. Wow, really nice play from Spirit. Completely faking him out. Yeah, and it is the save call. You're bang on there. They have no option. To go back into this retake, you don't know how much of A was given up because of that caretaker of Alexi pushing on through. They could already be in CT spawn. They could already be chasing, and they need a way out, and that's going to be through T spawn. So in a bit of a topsy-turvy round, they've traded territory. OG will hold on to three weapons. Team Spirit are happy to pick up another, and that's six on the T side. They already have par for the course. Yeah, and, and Chopper gets credit. Yeah, just for finding space. He didn't get a kill, and that's all he's been able to work with here. So, Rush, at the end of this round, if we can bring up the scores and the doors, because I think the Chopper's operating with only one or two kills at this stage. just want to take a little bit of a look. I think that we've seen some impact through the likes of Magix and SDY. Oh. You can see Chopper, we just painted him as the hero, and that was all through space. And he is the in-game leader of the team. Found space, made the call, and netted yet another round. So without the kills, it's not essential. And I will also point credit towards Mir. By finding that frag on Twitter, it just forced the CTs. This frag. By finding this, it's just more pressure. Yeah. You have to acknowledge that there's potential for B after losing another man there. So four to six, the score first map. D4, I am Beijing. Okay, so Interesting, that's... they actually smoked the molly for the sound cube. And they don't use and it. They're not using it. They're miles away. They must have thrown that from spawn. I reckon this is ready this time and not going to be seeing the same level of aggression towards that monster pipe. So early transgressions balance out. Disbalance continues to be a menace. Magic's actually smoking himself out. That wasn't far off. Disbalance takes an aggressive fight in the monster pipe. Well, they've got the territory they were looking for and they're not being harassed in the same way. The door's not blown up. There's nobody there sending up a crossfire. It's actually retooling right now. 
from OG across the map, and they can't leave that gap up through connected towards A anymore, so that's going to keep their pushes at bay. That slows down the containment, but Issa, that's a big frag to find. I just balance, he falls, but Issa's now stuck between a rock and a hard place. If he rotates back towards barrel, SDY will have him, but this comes down to patience. How long is he willing to stay on this boost? Oh, and again, it works for Spirit. The boost fast becoming known with an infamy for the Spirit T side of Overpass. Now, oh, the timing, just as Valda looks. He might get a, get a glimpse of Magix as he mantles, and he's expecting the second, can't convert. Two on two. Look at all the Xs on the minimap right now. They're all just in that same area over towards the B site. And this is round 11. There's been no variance in the play here as MBK has a chance to lock this one down, but that smoke is perfectly timed. Oh, and despite the sound, QSDY gets bopped. Chopper, quick reactions. He knows where the last is, but he's only got 10 seconds. He's pushed through, and MBK can't believe his luck. Look at that. A litter of corpses on the short position. b site still the priority for Team Spirit, this time to no success. Yeah, and this is the place of Team Spirit. They're saying, if you want to come and fight us in sewer, if you want to take any jewels, we're happy to just biff you right there. And, well... It didn't work out for them in a round like this, but traditionally OG start going more aggressive to find trades and take space after being in number disadvantages. They were able to come out on top of a few of those trades and MBK taking a risk through the smoke sealed the deal. The guns will be out for both sides. Money not fantastic for Alexi. He's only got an MP9 and he wasn't expecting anybody to be home. So space and a kill for Alexi. And that can be... Well, relayed to his team who were taking a three-man defense towards the A site. At this point, Team Spirit, they didn't get any space off of that. And when they went for a different look, it backfired immediately. All right, then. So SDY and Mir. And Valder's going to consider a close push. He's just trying to get some info on that smoke. Or is he pushing it himself? He is walking up the pipe. They have the number advantage. They don't need to risk like no, this. Oh, it's sketching me out. Maybe just hoping that to catch anyone gray screen and then tuck in. No, it's a time. Mir, as always, just hoping that the CTs give him the fight he's been waiting for. Oh, he's a bit deep there, so Issa doesn't have to move. And I think the boost is coming in a little bit late here. 50 seconds, sound cues made. OG can even rotate a fourth man. That was the fight they needed. Valder gets it as the smoke blooms. Spirit in a tight spot. Now they'll have to flood through short. There is no incendiary, but there is bullets. Issa gets one. Valder was there, was. Power oh, what? Mir and Magix are doing it again. The dastardly duo just breaks into B. And Mir convert, confirms Mantu's coming from heaven. There is an MBK lower as well. Nade won't do too much. Magix lives to tell the tale. Left eye. Good oh peak. my god. Third frag found. Magix just pops off and turns around on its head. It was all OG. Until that three frags in a blink of an eye. Now Mantu to clutch. Now he does have an incendiary. If he can find the 1v1, he could lock Mir out on short. But of course Mir peaks. Of course he does. Great timing. Finds the seventh on that B site. This is a very frustrating game to play for OG, I imagine. Because you know that they're coming and you just don't win the fights. You even whittled them down well and truly before they get into the bomb site. And just stubborn as you like. Three players up sandbag. A two on five situation. And Mir with that third through the board was huge. That gave them the chance to get the bomb down. Set up in a 2v2. And at that point, the round changes from being a... OG win to a definite chance for Spirit uh, to steal man. it away. Yeah, look what it's done to their money. They're down to 500 bucks. They're broken on round 13. The scoreline's 7 to 5. Team Spirit can net this round, win themselves the half, and go onto the CT side with a grin on their face. Brutality. You can see why it's their pick. Good deagle work, Alexi. Going to get pushed on. Maybe one more. He does through the teammate. Gets another with a deagle, and we're left with a 2v2. Mir does very well to find them both quick in quick succession. Just like that, we've got a 90-second 2v2. It's wingman, folks, but with the whole map. This is strange now. If MBK finds the timing on SDY, who is watching the back, but they're talking about this right now, Spirit. They're deciding where they want to finish. If MBK is able to squeak through and thread the needle, he could spot the bomb, make the call, and, well, that would put Valder in the right place at the right time but with this now, season at 75. MBK's position alone, they can kind of operate under the assumption they're coming to Valder, right? Well, I guess the problem is neither of them have information over towards Connector. I mean, so underpass true, but Valder's kind of got that. They're denying the weapon, so they've just dropped a MAC-10 and an AK over the wall. And now MBK's taking this space, so if they don't look behind them, they're in trouble. Don't do it. Okay, so he knows they're both long. 
He's not oh. going to be able to pick up a gun here. This is going to yeah. be 5-7 at range. It's not going to be an easy shot to hit. Yeah, they're gone, bro. Both long. That's the call. Valve has only got a CZ-75. His shot. He has to be precise here. Here's the Caesar Shadow. And no, NBK has found a Deagle. They didn't throw that one away and it converts. A round win for OG off Deagles and the Kevlar vest. They needed that to keep the game competitive. And look at that quad kill from Mir and still not enough. He locked him down, threw away all the weapons, but they didn't throw that Deagle and he hits <laughs> the necessary one Deagle. Oh, I thought they had done enough there, but yeah, the Deagle is the actually probably best weapon for oh, the Oh, 5.7. I mean, that would, I don't know if we'd have got that frag with a 5.7. It would have just harassed and then hopefully as Valda pinces out, Oof. maybe they get the crossfire, but that was well handled from MBK. You have to uh, give a nod to Alexi there who kicked that round off in style and the seesaw of this game has now tipped back in the favor of OG. The money for Spirit, it's in the bin. They're going to opt for a 2 Eagles of their own, two Glocks and a P250. And I was just saying that Team Spirit were looking like they could net up eight. Well, that conversation now is exactly the same for OG. Surely, surely, surely. they convert against this. One would think. That was our third round finishing towards A, by the way, Alex. So uh, 13 rounds of play, 10 of which towards B, three of which towards A. I don't know, I'm not a stats man, but I'm sure someone could work it out. Way. Well, how satisfying all the way across. But it is only going to be Glocks, P250, and two Deagles. So $1,400 on the high end for these two. Rush, you want to do this one? They're not uh, winning this one. Can do. MC, take it away if you could. Looks like they're all grouping up here. Five out to happen, maybe connect back to, to MBK. Yeah, it was, it was good impression. when it was tailored. I think it's because he's out of practice. Yeah. I'll do the uh, minimal ish kind of one tease in toilets. Taking control. That's no CTs out of position. MBK getting a bit peaky and gets swung on hard. Focus now on the A site. Looks like an A finish. Man two with the range. Not an AWP, but it might as well be. Two nice shots. Three nice shots. One T left. It's all on Magisk. Has a Famous. Nice shot. Needs two more to get that bomb plant. But there is a flank. He's aware. Spray looked good. But Valdi wins out in the end. And Rush, for the people who are listening on the wireless, what information do you need to give them? 7-7 seven, seven now, entering the last round. Looks like a buy for both teams will be in order. Chopper, limited on the util most likely. Smash Decides it. to go for two, a glil. Two there kills on Chopper. And Rush sure. had the HUD the whole time, so he was definitely going to nail that. Don't you worry. <laughs> That's information I can't even no, see at this point like, in time. Vito's, I don't even check the Discord. I just write them in because I know, man. I know. Next so, Vito, you know? Well, let me have it. All right, I'll let you do the next yeah, Vito. All right, all right, all right. We'll, see, we'll yeah. see how that one ends up when we're Mad doing Fnatic vs. Mad Lions. They're going for a B hit, believe it or not. Last round of the half on their T side, this Team Spirit. 7-7, seven, seven, the score line. And previously, we've seen the OG squad uh, go for some heavy sewer control. This time, it's actually been a bit of an aggressive. What is that, Mr. Alexi B? He's pushed all the way up playground as they charge B. Well, there's only one man to receive them. Valda on the pillar, peeks in and loses his head. It needs to be good from Issa, and it is. Mantu arrives from heaven. They double kill. Mantu does get caught, though, and three versus three. They haven't got the bomb down, but they have got sight control. Issa tucked it on graffiti. 14 bullets, and he spots this balance. It's not enough to convert. He has to tuck in now and bide his time. NBK's revealed his location as well. This looks really difficult, but Issa has managed to bail himself out. NBK loses his jewel. This is getting hunted, and he was ready for it. A dink into disbalance. Alexi to clutch. He gets found by disbalance. Wow, holds his nerve. 8-7, they will take the half. Close, but no cigar for OG. Let's see how that second half shapes up. It's time for OG to take to the attack.
They tell us that we're wrong, we might be This life, it isn't long enough to feel My love for you is strong, I'm fighting you and I I know that we're not sober, but shut up and pull me closer, yeah Holding me still too far away Even when we're older, I promise that I still hold you like we're 17 And we're not afraid of making mistakes Back in action for the second half of Overpass. I am Beijing, baby. Day four, a machine I've got sponge with me. And wow, I like the little bit of Vaseline that's added to his lens. It gives it that nice glow. I right, so now that we're not sober, but shut up and pull me closer. Oh, baby. Uh, that's, a, that's a curious song. I, uh, it's one I'm going to be singing in the shower in the morning. Yeah, I do need an idea on that. It definitely does sound like a shower track. I actually asked for some shower tracks, some great recommendations. A lot of you are angry showerers. I really? Learned. Yeah, there's a lot of angry music. I don't like the, uh, the bops. I mean, I, I can bop, but I, I, I don't mind a, a good shower. shout. All right, well, let's get this one underway. We've got uh, some pistols coming out obviously on the pistol round but the utility really? is where we really want to focus and that's going to be two smokes and two flashes and here we MPK go spotted some up towards connector there's a p250 involved his hands will that get involved in the mix going long if he can keep Bimir busy and not lose his life mission accomplished but they are actually going to flash for info and push down the sewers they've got Issa parked there for him for their not very well raised they close the door on the way out smoke towards bank they want to pop on this I think they have to, but the rotation from Spirit's good. They're going to have four players on the A site. Ooh, they Flashes are, are coming now. Completely stacked up. All right, boys, it's going to be a duel. At this range, I'd favor the Glocks. See if Spirit agree. Magix doesn't, but here comes MBK, oh. and Mantu is the one to catch that headshot. Quick reactions all the same, and no one's all checking the near. He, create, he does manage to steady his aim for two. Still a two on two. Mantu's hunting for SDY, but a precise headshot bails him out of trouble. And Alexi's handed an awkward one versus two. Now, Magix, will he go checked? Sound cues are plenty. 28 seconds. Alexi knows it's a possibility. Oh, he's clearing it. He is clearing it. Hello. Oh. Execution. A fake plant as well. Will SDY give him the jiggle he hopes for? 14 seconds for Alexi. SDY's got to get a wiggle on. Bomb is down. Alexi's getting his jewel. He hit a little bit of a bullet, but he's got no armor. Eight bullets, needs a headshot. SDY still tucked in on the bin, has a kit. He can take all the time he needs. Alexi needs the fresh clip. He's being pushed. He knows the direction and SDY has connected. With the Glock, mind you. Wow, that was a close round right there. I think all in all, Team Spirit, just by having all the bodies on the bomb side around those smokes as the push came in, that was the key to success because you could see OG, they were just so drawn towards Bank and CT. Alexi with fantastic awareness there to clear out Magix. I thought he was done in this 2v1 situation, but gets the plan and makes a round out of it. And frustration for him because he finished the half with a one-on-one -on -one loss and now loses it on pistol round as well. As we push forward in this matchup, though, you might be noticing this isn't playing out like the other games we had earlier in IEM Beijing. It was a lot brawlier. You felt there was a lot more multi-kills. This seems very one for one, and the rounds are very strung out. Teams throw their smokes. They wait. It stalls out a bit, but now we've got some pace straight into a B-rush. Yeah, this is very quick. Look at this. This is ahead, and Chopper's still doing the flashbang dance. What a conversion. They can't seem to find the bullets of Mir, 
They have worked it out now, but caught with a nade in his hand, and it's a double again from Magix, the impact player. Finally silenced. Gag order issued by Mantu. Valda finds another. Numbers favor OG, albeit by the smallest margins. And they aren't rushing the plant. That's on Mantu at Monster. Oh. Bit of a team flash. That's not ideal. They're not even planning the bomb at all. They're just completely getting out of dodge. Team Spirit would hang around and then late hit the site. OG, they want to play a bit of misdirection. Up through connector, all three of them will trundle the bomb, the last man. So if Mantu gets caught by a jump, which he's lucky to avoid here, then they should have a free avenue over towards the A bomb site. Long is where Alexi wants to ply his trade. That Mac 10 in hand with full health, and Volda and Mantu will be going through bathrooms as a collective. Notice Those smokes. Notice the ones who walk in bathrooms are walking. Alexi go for a bit of a louder approach because he will not be heard by those B players. So. He has come in for the info to confirm that it does look clear. He'll be deploying his save. utility and a save call made. Now, they save uh, M4 and a Galil, full armor and a kit smoke. All right, well, we'll keep track of uh, where OG go on their gun rounds as well. Actually, hold up. Wait a second. Are they going for this? It looks like oh, they're giving it a crack. If they give Valder's, if they get this Valder frag relatively early, there is definitely a war universe where that kit and smoke play perfectly into this. And there was the duel. Valder's won it. He should go down. He does to the wall bang, but that might still be the round conversion. Picks up the kit and he is going for it. Disbalance wants blood. He wants to take anything he can. Alexi jumps to confirm that there is going to be more. Get the M4 and get out. This is the right play. It, yeah, it doesn't better. seem as exciting a type of Counter-Strike as what you'd want. The 1v2, the smoke on the bomb, the dancing around, the pulling off of a miracle. But Team Spirit, they have the lead and they can maintain that. With the M4 and the force buy that's likely going to ensue right now, Team Spirit can continue to be deadly. That was a fantastic call from OG. They got that plant down. Thanks to Alexi, we're able to invest in some Mac 10s and lighter weaponry, have a sound execute onto the B bomb site. And even though Magic's with that multi, it just wasn't enough. The bomb site was given up. They played the mid-round rotation and the scoreline now, nine to eight in favor of Team Spirit here on map number one. It is their map choice of overpass. Moving forward in the series, we'll have Inferno and then Nuke if required. But it looks like this one's going to go the distance. In the pre-match, we were talking about the fact these guys played earlier in the year, just in August, and it went all three and all with double digits. This one looks like it's got the same story written all over it. As it is that force from Spirit, they've got another scout up. The M4 has been gifted back to SDY. Magic's onto a Famous, and then pistols of a Deagle and a CZ for Chopper and Mia. OG quite procedural here. They're having three through connector. They want to... Hold on to that avenue of rotation between the two, two bomb sites. Are they going to go for a boost? Mir's mounting up. Magic's on top, but they made a sound oh. cue. They flubbed it. <laughs> Everyone's sketched out now. And Mir loses his life. Alexi swings that door open and... Oh, wow, no. wow. wow. they nightmare. even had names come, nades coming in as well. Well, this one's pretty much cooked. It's Chopper pushing up. He oh, could oh, have oh, the oh, off angle. Oh. I like it. Oh, baby. I don't know. clear this? I don't think you would. Oh, my God. What? So thorough. Falda has a glance, and it's enough. Checks the tight corner on the run up towards Monster. And now, well, this is the round. This is oh. the same weapon saved. You're going to be seeing the M4 and partnered with a scout for this balance, but OG happy to convert and equal up. What's that now? That's, that's the two in a row. Yeah, and uh, just with a little bit of a look at where these rounds are finished we've had the first two over towards a and then this third round here in the second half over towards b with the bomb going down there's no net being thrown on out with 20 seconds left on the c4 before that detonation this is a bit of a net yeah he's getting close I really think better of it. Yeah, he only has the Mac 10, so I don't hate him going for the chase and losing that here and now that Alexi's figured out where one of them is he's going to get a move on as well both tucked in towards playground, having to even expend a little bit of their utility just to stay alive. That's never ideal. Bomb goes off. Alexi, can you find anything? Not to be the case. Tickled on up, but there's no frag. As Team Spirit, they will have to concede at this juncture. That was the quick one on Tamir, and they even had nades ready for the uh, headshot angle. Valder just peeked off it. Imagine how differently that would have played out as well. And, and I think that the reason that Mir was so diligent about this chase, great little highlight there, was because they wouldn't have been going for a boost in of that nature without at least some security towards the backyard of T-Spawn. Right. And so pushing up like that was good awareness there from Valder. Um, this could also be one of those situations where it is a known move of spirit. When they go for that boost, Chopper tends to take space. Regardless... SDY had the only rifle, and that's probably the round. Yeah, very likely. Mantu taking that duel, and it's not an easy-to-retrieve location. He was committed to the underpass, so 
The remaining CTs group up, start their charge. Coming straight towards Issa and his ears do perk up. He knows there's action on his way. 600, 1200, 1800. They're my favorite kind of kills. Love. One by one, USPs, no armor. Mac 10, perfect. Dreamy. Some people have dreams about that. Some people are pretty weird, so yeah, yeah I could imagine. Rush, what do you dream about Counter-Strike wise? Is it you flying through the skies of danger zones, Soraka? Rush, Rush dreams of actually discovering a bump mine pack in real life. <laughs> I wish. He's, I wish. He gets his exosuit on and he actually just bops it to work. So he's like me when I was 12 and wished that Pokemon was real so I could have my own yeah. little Charmander running around with me. It's so lame. So I used lame. to imagine like a kind of Spider-Man like character running alongside the obstacles as we drove in the bus. Okay, no, I have heard this one before from you. Along the buildings, jumping and Yeah, like parkouring across, yeah. and running across the... Quite a theme in your life, the old parkour. Maybe. Yeah, and I take pictures of buildings because I can imagine myself running around over them. Maybe I'm a parkour athlete. I just haven't unlocked my potential. Oh, we got to start somewhere, I guess. Pushing out towards Fountain, we will see that a very, very heavy lean from the CTs. They're actually already in short pipe. Look at that. They're going to get info so quick. <laughs> Nobody's home. Move. Yeah, so what do they do with this? The fact that they have the space, it's great, but you can see that OG still have a minute and 24 seconds left on the clock. Within the mid to late rounds, they can pivot between both of these sites, and there's probably a timer on how long that Mir can stay this aggressively poised, especially considering there's no con connector control right now. You see this off angle that he's trying to play with here as they come over the lip, hard to clear, hard to deal with. And he even has bait, so that's going to be Chopper in the back lines there, trying to lure them in. But we can see why got attack. a panic smoke. That, so his, he's not actually got his weapon out. He is just going to be a panic button for disbalance to drop off, and so he can retreat back into the site safely. And despite all that long presence, they're just trusting magics to hold that. Ooh. And there goes the smoke. So they will drop off. And then they're able to balance to tuck into the site. Alex, they're out of nades. They have nothing to defend this bomb site with. It's just going to have to be headshots. They don't even have a defuse kit for the post plant. So if they play too passively, it's all over. Here we go. Execute from OG. Two smokes and two Molotovs. And that's Disbalance trying to exploit a gap, but he has been knocked off. Issa is the first, and SDY falls. Mir as well is added to the list, and that's a perfect A execute. You don't see them every day. Chop up found finally, and now the bomb is planted with just a single Disbalance remaining. A perfect round, not a single OG member going down, and they do finish it off 11 to 9, flawless on the A take. Chad, what do you make of that? We don't get to see a full double smoke, double molly A take. Yeah, they were given a lot of room and the fact that there was no utility or an AWP for Team Spirit to really fight and search for kills with that there, uh, it was all over as soon as Issa found that opening. You can see they were playing around Optimus. They were trying to make sure that they were in positions to disrupt, but it wasn't good enough. And OG, oh well, they are looking good enough right now. They are back in this game, taking the lead as we do have Spirit taking the time out. And it will be their first here on map number one. Probably a good idea at this juncture of the game to talk through your options. They will only be investing with some pistols. The money's not quite there yet. You can see in the next round, it will be the max loss bonus of 3,400. And the AWP needs to get into that hands of Idis Balance to activate him here I on the to see side. Such an underperformance from Chopper. I will, I will say that that looks weird to my eyes. It's not usual. Yeah, he's not finding that same impact that we are expecting out of Chopper now. Obviously, as the in-game leader of this team, not a natural role for him or not one where he started his career. Always a couple of teething issues here, there and everywhere. As you can see, SDY aggressive towards Connector again. Dealt with one Molotov by dropping a smoke. They'll, in exchange, put out their... It's going to waste their time at least, and it yeah. does give Magix and Mir a chance to get their duo set up once again. Oh, Chopper, aggressive, and takes the head off of the natural born. Killer. Don't flub your movement this time, boys. It's flawless, but they're already up. They can maintain this little totem pole boost if they would like. One player can look towards the sewer pipe, the other one can watch Connector, and then Chopper can bait. But while Chopper's baiting, the attack's over towards A, and SDY's in trouble. Yeah, he's done very well to get info for free, though. I say free. Here we go. Ooh. He can't cross back to the site. He's isolated now. It's only a matter of time until Valde gets close enough. Wait, look at Alexi and Disbalance. They haven't seen each other. Disbalance was all the way on long. Alexi's just walked straight past him. This is a gap, and I don't think Chopper's going to really like what happens here. He is not expecting long at all, and Alexi gets the punish. Disbalance does manage to catch Mantu with his uh, off angle, if you will, but three versus four. They've lost SDY completely. He lives on. 
And they're all coming from that direction. Issa does do a lot of damage, but doesn't convert in the smoke. The reload doesn't spur them forward. Alexi has been caught, but does manage to weather the storm. Three frags for the Finn. And it will likely fall to Valda to finish this one. Mir has recovered his signature weapon, an M4A1. Lingering in the smoke is Valda. Alexi's not ready for this version at all, and SDY catches him. A chance for Valda to come up clutch, and he knows where it's coming from. Flubs that flash, but spots SDY. And now he's playing the smart one. SDY, SDY can't, can't save, yeah. yeah. Just quickly, Rush, I want to bring you in here. Because sure, dude. From, from, for me, like I'm watching this and I, we had a day off yesterday. It's the first game. You know, maybe I'm just feeling a little bit um, just, you know, the case of the Mondays. But this game feels really janky. It like does it, feel it, very janky. It, it feels like there's a lot of fights going on simultaneously. You get in the same kind of uh, situation with your fingers Definitely right now. Definitely so. On these eco rounds, it is a lot of people pushing up uh, and then like fights as people are taking the site and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a bit all over the place, in my opinion. Not so much set XQD stuff. Yeah, the round doesn't, it doesn't feel like we're ramping up to anything. We just get to a point and then it explodes exactly. and then as it explodes there's fights going all over the shop so quite a difficult one to keep tabs on who's going to come out on top and as you were pointing out rightly so there alex the the trades in that gap that you found not only did that gap punish chopper on the site mantu went down assuming long was clear as well so it was very strange how round number 21 unfolded but round 22 the guns are back out the orbs in hand and b well that's already where OG have found yes, themselves us. yeah they're so fast up nbk hasn't held short though and that enables chopper to come back in Magic still holding the site. They do need to find him now. And Mantu Khan, great shot. Looking great for Spirit. They finish it off with a bang as well. Practically flawless. Double kill for Magic's on the B take. 12 then to 10. That's Spirit's second CT round. This was a 9-6 half. So OG definitely still holding the uh, control. And they've definitely got control of their own finances. Alexi practically at max money. I don't know how he's seeing through that Molotov. I'm blind as a bat through that smoke. I'm really curious as well, like, because the more Counter-Strike I've played in the last couple of years since I've gotten a much better computer uh, and, and realized I don't need to play on whatever resolution I thought I did as a professional, I play on native and I'm like, this is what, how the game was designed to be played. And you've got pros who are still playing on 1024, 768. It's all madness out there. So it is, a, it is an odd one, bit of a quandary. But look at this. I just balance this push forward. Using this smoke here as a bit of a one-way might catch MBK off guard. And it has first blood drawn as the orb shot rattles and echoes throughout the overpass. Look at all three of the CTs right now. They're all down in Monster, stuck in the pit. They've moved away, just as I say that, as I Bounce has been able to set up. God, I can't believe he dug into that angle. It does bear fruit. It's a gone good flash, does convert. Valda going to have to back away from that one. Even a CT smoke landing at the deep monster pipe and another towards short. That's a lot of util burned. They come for the boost. Takes their own medicine. I'd love to see it. It's got a lot of success for Spirit, but it's being pre-aimed nicely by Mir. Oh my god! Loses his head. Falter gets the double. We have got a level 40 second 3v3. He's gonna be kicking himself. He had that one booked. He was pre-aiming it and everything. Oh, we saw a toe there, Magic. So I'm not quite sure if he caught it on his screen, but we definitely saw something. Just Valder falling. Alexi does manage to equal. And with 15 seconds, our 1v1 is established. SDY in heaven. Will he be able to stop the plant? He doesn't go for the spray. He drops instead. Alexi, oh, spots a glimpse. Trying to play with SDY, but oh he's too boy. damn good. Very nice headshot, just re-peeking in. Recovers, disbalances off as well, and will bring the 11th home for Spirit. SDY, that's a crucial clutch. That's the third 1v1 we haven't seen Alexi be able to shut out here. There was the pistol rounds. True. There was the last round of the first half, and now again falling to SDY. But let's check out how this one kicked off. I disbalance using that smoke just to here around the corner, finds an opening, finds a second, and then eventually gets isolated. And this is Volda, really should have been dead to rights here because you can see that Mir was already pre-aiming that position. Volda does get the better of him, and there's the final frag from SDY's POV. That stands for point of view. I am. You all love your uh, acronyms around here, especially the TTKs. That's our uh, time to kill. I really don't think that, is that any relevance in Counter-Strike? This yeah, is a fire rate. It, it always has a, yeah. He's more used to, to compare different games. Okay. Like the time to kill in CS is very high. It's very low, sorry. 
Sure. One shot headshot. True. Okay. Yeah, Highest that does make TCKs. sense. You play COD, it feels like they're made of sponges. You That's know? right. Because they can heal and you do yeah. a bit of damage. So they very don't low. Fall. All right. Yeah, okay. High time to kill God. I, I can't understand. Mass is hard. But we have seen an opening kill, and that's 19 deaths for Chopper now added to the list here in round 24. Jeez, he's really having a rough showing of it. Only six kills, 24 rounds in. Fancy this chance is long. Mantu was just holding it. But that would perhaps lull you into the assumption that there isn't too much more of a fight on long. Disbalance, despite the flash, holds his nerve and does connect onto the Mantu swing once more. Oh. And NBK is willing, ready, and able to take that shot against the orb. Alexi's flash did just keep him busy. And just stalled out here. Good angle from SDY, manages to catch trade. So this is going to be chaos. Oh, there's some overcalling going on on OG right now. I think they're overcomplicating this situation. They could have just barreled up long as a unit. They didn't now they're have caught the rotations. Yeah, they've got to find some way out. 35 seconds, it's sketching me out. Mir has the lockdown on the rotate through connector. And he finds Valder. Does get brought down to seven, so Issa should finish the job, but they're running out of time here. It's all on to SDY on the site. NBK has a smoke, but that's not going to do too. Archie might help him get the bomb down. So much damage. The nade should finish so it. He still plants, and NBK catches his teammate. SDY then. His fumbling could cost him. He's got a 1v2 to win now. And Issa has not interested a double for both of them. The partnership pulls the 13th home for OG. Is there an MBK, a double killer piece? Nice division of the Team Spirit squad. Puts us at 13 now to 11. OG within touching distance. And let's see how this one started. MBK against an AWP, no less. Very slither spray. And he needed that. You can see how close this was to going down. That smoke very well saving his life. Oof. Down to six after the nade landed. Yeah, very odd one there. I think SDY is going to be kicking himself after that. Thought that the plant might not go through after the tickling up with the M4, but if he just underhanded it or gone for a little bit of a lighter throw, could have denied and won the round right there and then. But Team Spirit, they've gone all in on this one. The force bites left them with not too much utility to work with. They will need to find the fights, and I just bounce. He does have the AWP to do so. But look at this aggression. The spam might follow. There's a lot of damage done with the nade, and Valder heads good. Chopper falls, and oh. so does Magic. Oh, no way. That really hurts, and Disbalance's toes are visible. Only does minimal damage. Disbalance wants to level the odds, and... It's an off angle. Oh. Can't believe he's gotten away with that. Is this damage inflicted? And the wall bank wasn't far off either. But Mir goes aggressive. And he does manage to catch a sleeping Alexi. Out of nowhere, Spirit pulled these so equalizers odd. out. It's a very kooky game of Counter-Strike. Yeah, like there's no flashes to facilitate that. It's just a dry peek. It's a gut instinct. And I think Mantu spotted the barrel, but it doesn't matter. Oh, oh. my God, the spam is everywhere. Mantu finishes him off. A bomb site's open. <laughs> Spirit are trying to rotate over. OG are trying to beat them there. The bomb's coming, but I just balance oh here. Oh, my God. What it's, is going on? It's 9 HP, no less. He's peeked into it. He needs more. He does. He's got to do a lot of heavy lifting here. Disbalance does reveal oh, no. but he gets wallbanged. This wasn't ready, doesn't adjust in time. Amantu, AWP versus near 60 HP. The HP no longer relevant, unless he swaps to his sidearm, which he has. And here comes the push. And Mir just doesn't miss. Three frags from the start of the show. 22 frags for him. He's catching his partner. Magic's up. In fact, level pegging now at the top of the scoreboard in the server. Oh. It's hard one just to keep tabs on where all the action is going down again. This it's is exhausting just, it, me. It's so strung out. The rounds never feel like they're over. We've had a lot of finishes that have been 1v1s in this game. 3v2s, 2v3s. It's all back and forth. Nothing's a guarantee. Nothing is safe. Nothing is sacred. Triple SMG from the CT squad as they put all their chips into the center of the table. And they won. That really sucks. Mantu's even got enough pennies to scrape together the AWP on this T side. Well, I was just taking a quick look at the opening jewels and they've been favoring that of OG. Hmm. But this cool. little slide boost here just to help clear out. I think we saw Simple doing this with Na'Vi just the other day. They're not going to commit to it. Maybe too many footsteps heard or it might be a sunny day. I don't know if you ever had this in the UK, Alex, but those, oh, those plastic slides. slides and the metal ones as well. Very hot. Uh, in Australia, they're like a weapon in 40 degree heat. You sit on that, you can actually burn your bum a little bit uh, too much. Yeah, I just remember that sound, the sound of wearing shorts as you go down a very uh, yeah. hot slide. <laughs> there have been in this game, what are we looking at here? Three, six, 
eight, nine one VX situations. Goodness, that's nine why it feels so weird. Yeah, that's it's why an it feels odd so matchup. Unpredictable. They say that's why humans like music. Because we sounds like a slide. Well we we get dopamine releases when we predict something. Nice shots. It's only the second. He can't oh get it. Mir actually caught him elsewhere. The double was found, which keeps this level peg in, but Mir is standing and fighting. Look at this. A pillar choosing to back away just in time. And now they're tucked into the site. The bomb's on long. Alexi plans to finish there. And they do confirm no aggressive toilets present. So now they're looking for the plant. Disbalance's line, though, should find a frag, and it has one apiece. Nothing for Mantu now other than holding on to his AWP. He is going to get hunted down and he knows it. He's trying to stop magics and he hits it, but... Oh, after time as well. After time, yeah, that really sucks. 150 schmeckles for Mantu. And that's at the breaking point of the game as well. We're at 13, 13, 27 rounds ahead of us. If they wrestle this one back, I think you could see there that it's getting very flustered in the OG camp. And one of the tells is just they are being harassed. So the gameplay and those 1vx situations that I just outlined being nine in total throughout this game. But they double smoked the bomb spot. So that was two smokes, maybe one they could apply to a different position. And you can see here just to the left where Mir is, there's actually two smoke grenades being thrown by OG onto that exact same position. So it's just the little details that we're keeping tabs of here. But when the game is this close, when we are tied up 13, 13 and the T's have just had their economy broken this late in the piece. Those are the difference makers. With only 2,400 coming through in the next round, unless somebody drops man to an AWP, he's going to be operating with a pistol or less. So Spirit have a really good opportunity right now to first of all build their bank and get some more rifles going through because you can see this going into round number 27, you've got two MP9s again. So the buy for Spirit not fantastic. If they can course correct here, if they're able to keep this one as clean as it can be, Going into the next round against OG's buy, they can be sitting level. This would be great for some confidence for Chopper as well. He's the point man over towards Sandbags, MP9 in hand, and a couple are about to greet him. MBK's first. Oh, I'll make that is his first. MBK to follow. Yeah, both handed to his lovely kill tally. He's getting some necessary stats padded. There we go. Give him the fourth. Gets his double digits. Chopper farms up. Plenty of cash for him to splash in the closing rounds of this first map. This is Spirit's pick, and OG have been holding the uh, the lead over them until this point. Spirit take the lead and take 14. Now, it's not great for Mir in this game. If you look at his frag, sure, he's doing a fantastic job. He has a total of 25, but in those 19 deaths, six of which have been openings. So as long as you keep Mir out of the early stages of the round, he's able to find his impact here to be 0 and 6, but to be topping the frags, that's actually pretty unusual stat-wise. That is inter interesting. He hasn't got an opening kill, but Not he has all, been, yeah. got an opening death six times. But between Mira and Magics combined, they have a huge chunk of opening kills in the double digits. Not opening kills, sorry, multi-kills. Make sure I preface that one correctly. And you can see OG there by going into round number 28. I said there were going to be problems for Mantu. There definitely are. The primary AWP are left only with a MAC-10 utility. They've kept five smokes. So there haven't been too much of an early flurry of map control and that's a miss smoke from the a site there that's missed in towards the b backyard so monster will not be covered off and that's going to spell problems for mia and magics who have to drop one of their own so that would have bought them an extra 20 seconds that wouldn't have had to have been thrown out from mia until one minute but now they've had to use it early the only thing they've heard is one spray balder who's been unloading his mag haphazardly I like how clean they do that. Just note, there's no crouching. There's no old jump now. There's none of that janky business. Mir and Magics have this worked out to a T. And those little details can be the difference between a kill and showing your head early without being ready for the frag. But there's damage. What is that from Mir? There's an opening kill. Yeah, he just takes initiative, takes the wall bang. And now Chopper's going to push in to see if there's anyone else home. What a great time for Mir to find his first opening kill of the game. Yeah, good point. And a freebie, an absolute freebie. This is looking good for round 15 now. There's 30 seconds left. They have to go back to A. They're getting their skates on, and so is Mir. He's going to meet them there. If Alexi goes quiet, he could catch a timing, but it looks like Mir's been gifted the responsibility of long. NBK could be running into a trap. Now he's going to be lining up his util. A flash to force to balance off the line. Oh, dear. 
He runs ahead of it. SDY does go down and so does this balance. Mir only the one. Perhaps OG have got a shot here, but with eight seconds, that bomb would need to be planted and Chopper's got it. A crucial frag. Magix just leaps in to collect the SMG frag. Oh, he can't get over the truck. He's stuck. He only goes into the next round with an SMG. Yep. Oh, well, Magix, there was an AWP, there was an AK, there was everything available for him. He's got 7.6, he'll just uh. drop it. A price he has to pay and you can see what on earth OG are coming in to defend map point with. Good try, though. Came down to a 2v2. SDY really got caught off guard by that flash there. That was almost a nightmare. I can look at this. Hello? <laughs> um, Hello? Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike. Come on now. Time it's out time. Only their second used as well. So OG, considering how close the game is, considering how back and forth a lot of these rounds have been, they will just be taking a timeout on round number 29. Now this is Mir with the freebie. This is just, okay, well, we did the boost. Nobody was there. I guess they're taking t space late. And, and to actually kill Issa, not only through the boards, that you can see just how deep into that pipe he actually was. So that's a huge frag. And one that you aren't normally finding, especially finding at that juncture of around that forced OG's hand. They went back to the A-bomb site. And from there, the trades, well, they were madness once again. And this game continues to be a very surprising back and forth affair as OG will opt in with whatever they can afford. It's some Galils, it's a Deagle, MBK yet to buy. He's laid out a spawn with a Tech-9 and Mantu for the final round of play or potentially with another Mac 10 Spirit are looking good to close this. If they don't seal it up here, they're going to be kicking themselves because their cash hasn't swelled, Alex. Round 30 of play if we get there, it's this going to be a shot. close one. It's the best shot we've seen from Spirit. This late stage. One, two, three, four. Five, six of the last seven rounds have gone Spirit's way. So with that momentum shift, finances shift. OG broken. He's got a cool little lineup here. I like that one. Valder's got a smoke to force disbalance his eyes off of that particular line. Oh, Alexi, visible and a quick adjustment from SDY just blows his head clean off. Awkward now. OG in pursuit of another round of play in order to coming. fend him off. A peek from Disbalance, an easy frag. Mantu strafing in, he needs to find the AWP, but the flashes are so good, but Disbalance has gotten away. They will hunt him down. A missed shot, they need this. He's even pushed with the Glock, that's how much he needed it. A two on four though. They do get the bomb down, it's just a Galil for Valda. Maybe Issa can scavenge away the M4 that lies on the site. Peeks in, does find his balance, and a oh double for 